the famous Denmark Street, otherwise known as Tin Pan Alley. This is where musicians such as David Bowie, Rolling Stones and the Kinks made their first recordings and hung out in all the cafes here. Developers are doing their best to destroy it and all the clubs have closed, but uh, there's still a few music shops around. But just over here is St Giles Church. And that's very interesting because St Giles was the patron saint of lepers. There's been a church here since 1101 and it was originally built as a leper colony um, on the road to Oxford, away from the old city of London, in a remote place. Apparently it was quite damp and swampy, especially at the outbreak of the plague in 1665. Some of the first burials were placed in pits in the churchyard, I think. You see that big building over there, that's called Centre Point, and that's at the beginning of Oxford Street. Now, it was called Oxford Street because it was the old road to Oxford, but when condemned men were being transferred from Newgate Prison along all the way up Oxford Street to Tyburn Gallows to be hanged, they would stop here to have a last drink bought for them by the church. The condemned on their way to Tyburn would be offered a drink in the angel next door. This is the story as a last sort of merciful offering. So yeah, it's now called the Angel, but it used to be called the, the Resurrection Gate. But they'd need quite heavily armed guards because quite often the prisoner's friends would stage rescue attempts and abduct the criminal and disappear off into the area around here known as the Rookeries or Seven Dials as it's known today. The whole area around here has always been a bit squalid and uh, full of thieves, beggars and prostitutes. Not unlike today, really. And it was full of all these narrow alleys which now smell Let's say, interesting. <laughs> the police would never be able to find them. They were too scared to go in there, apparently. Oh, very interesting, thank you. You could have looked a bit more... Uh... Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Right, that's my best interest. Yeah, well, that's my best interest. Brutalist architecture, you know how I know that?